Sam here, giantpumpkins.co.nz, the website to help you grow a giant pumpkin, no matter where you are, although I am based in New Zealand. It's the 4th of September, and I thought I'd better do something with this tiny patch. So it's tiny patch 2.0, third year growing in this area. Um, basically, the gist of today will be to um, dig in a bunch of this uh, compost stuff that I got. I'm going to put that in the main area that I want the plant to grow initially. Once that's done, I am going to lay down some plastic polythene, some black polythene, and the idea for that is to solarize or kill off all the grass that's there that I don't want. But I'm getting it done now because I'm quite busy for the next three or four days. So I started these seeds the other day, the three of them ready to go, and I just filed them and I just chucked them in here with the moist paper towel. And uh, I was in a hurry, had a bunch of stuff to do, had to places to be, things to do. And the idea was just to see if they would grow okay. Several days later. And the idea was just to see if they would grow okay. Uh, sorry, germinate or start. And um, they haven't yet. And that's because I've skipped a few steps. Now I'm catching back up and um, I've had to pull out my... seed starting box two extra things I'm going to be doing one is uh, I will be soaking them for a little bit and have the heat mat so one product that I do use I think I got I ordered this when I got the heat mat it's the seed soak um, product and it's basically just helps break down the seed coat you soak a little bit and it says here in general the bigger and tougher the seed the better it will fare using this giant pumpkin seeds are very thick and tough seeds they can vary a little bit but sometimes when you get really good ones they're uh, big thick seeds okay the seeds are out of the uh, mixture they're going to go into the plastic bags very soon um, and I've set up the um, heat mat it lives on this box I like to put the lid on it help contain the heat I've got the thermostat with this set up at the moment it's telling it's 69.2 Fahrenheit. It wants to get to about 80. I think some guys, some growers will go a little bit higher than that. But what I've found is with the lid on, I think it contains everything okay. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, what's been happening here recently is uh, it's time to put more things into the tiny pumpkin patch to get it ready for growing next season. A couple of years ago, you may or may not have seen a video where I was talking about a couple of products I got from Insect Direct. So it's Insect with a Z, Direct. Um, a great company. I love what they're doing. they got brand new packaging too, which I do like. So this is a fertilizer, plant fertilizer. For you people out there keeping track of NPK, it's 2.1, 0.8, um, 2.2. So this stuff is basically Insect Frass, as they like to call it. It comes in, uh, I've got a one kilo bag of that. And then the other one I've got, another plant fertilizer, is Chirpalizer. Um, I've got a 1.5 kilo of that. Because that's enough for what I need. Now this stuff here, made from insects as well. Uh, NPK on this stuff is a bit higher. 5.4, 1.1, 2.2. So two years ago I used it, and I think it worked really well. I think the pumpkin liked it. Last year, I only had a little bit of one of these two left over, so I only used a little bit. And I don't think the pumpkin did as well. So that was sort of the main differences from last year to the year before that. And then the other thing that I've managed to get my hands on is a mushroom compost. Mushroom farms have to get rid of all their substrate stuff that they grow the mushrooms in, I don't know, all the time, I guess. They get rid of it. Big mushroom farms in the South Island... Um, they seem to, there's, there's shops down there you can buy it by the bag, which is great because in your, when you're growing in a real small area, you don't need a ton of product. That's one of the benefits of growing in a small area, but sometimes it's hard to get small quantities of product. Bags are pretty good. You may need, you know, a small quantity of those. Uh, here in the North Island, from what I found online, prove me, someone could prove me wrong, but I couldn't see a retail shop easily selling this stuff. Uh, I did track some down, I can't say where I got it from, but uh, I've got like three flexi tubs full of it. I'm probably going to put two in and keep the other one on hand 
for another idea that I've got during the growing season. I'll talk about that later. Um, this stuff is really good. Uh, it won't have any weeds or anything in it. It's been used for mushrooms. Um, from what I've seen online and from what people tell me, it's pretty good. Like it's nutrient dense. Uh, it will help whatever you plant in it grow. Uh, I don't think you'd want to plant directly into that stuff. You'd want to mix it in obviously, which I'm going to do. And um, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm probably going to water, um, put a bit of water on all the stuff once it's in just to help it start breaking down a bit better. I think that's about it for now. And I'm feeling good with the seeds being germinated. I'm feeling good with what I've done with this tiny patch planting hole prep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll catch up with you another time. Until then, of course, I'm Sam, giantpumpkins.co.nz.